بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, the next thing we'll try to get into the configuration. Of course, we'll see some more theoretical concepts on some some more explanations. We'll also see while doing the configurations here. So we'll be using some three router setup here, as per the same routing setup we have used in our in our labs. So we assume there are some specific host here in the LAN where we where they are already communicating with each other. So the prerequisite, we make sure that the routers are connected with an IP address is pre-configured and make sure that the interfaces are up and up. And of course, the next step, you need to configure the routing so that the 1.0 network users should be able to access and communicate with 2.0 network and 3.0 network. So all the three LAN users should be able to talk to each other. That is our prerequisite. So means routing is our prerequisite for this labs. And then after that, we'll configure some routes. I'll just come back to these rules. And then we'll take some specific host like we'll try to deny the traffic coming from 1.0 network should not access this specific host. 1.2 should not access this host. So we'll configure the rules. And as per the rules, the communication should, should be stopped once we, once we implement the ACL later on. So before we go ahead, we'll try to go with the configuration here. So I got my pre-configured topology here with, with the same. So of course, the IP addressing is slightly different. IP addressing, I think, is the same, but the interfaces are different. It's okay. So the only difference is here, I'm using S0 by 0, and here it is S0 by 0 by 0. So it depends upon the model routers we are using. So I'm using 1941 routers. Make sure that I'm using the 15.IVS version so that I can support the new configuration. So most of the 1900, 2900 since routers, they support this 15.IVS version. So I recommend when you practice the labs, also use these specific models. And if you try to verify the configuration, I do have the pre-configured IP addresses. Here you can see G0 by 0. So, of course, in the diagram, it shows F0 by 0. So, just ignore that. This is G0 by 0 here on the router interfaces. And here it is S0 by 0 by 0. And it is S0 by 0 by 1. Of course, it is 0 by 0 by 0 here. Okay. So, but the IP addressing is still the same. And if you verify, we do have reachability to the next router. And also we do have reachability to all the hosts. So the IP, IP part is already configured. So I can ping to 1.1 host, 1.2 host, as well as I should be able to ping to 1.3, 1.4 as well. Okay, so we know that part already, how to do. And similar way, if you check the router 2 also, on the router 2 also, I do have this pre-configurations, the IP addresses. Let me check this interface why it is not up. So let me just quickly fix this. The router 3 interface is not up. Okay, fine. So the problem was uh, on this router, the port was S0 by 1 by 0 connected, but I have assigned the IP address here on S0 by 0 by 0. So I have just changed the cable here. So I connected this to S0 by 0 by 0 here. So now you can see the interface is up. And also you can see the router who is already having this configuration. So the next step is we'll configure the routing quickly. So the prerequisite, as I said, the prerequisite is going to be the IP configurations. And also we need to make sure that we do have a routing configured. I'll use OSP of here. You can use any routing. Of course, it can be a static routing as well. Doesn't matter. So let's go with OSP of routing, where I'm going to advertise the LAN interfaces here. All in area zero, I'll, I'll just make it then. So multiple areas also we can configure here. So routing, it can be any routing, it doesn't matter. So let's go to router two as well. So on the router two also we'll be configuring the OSPF. Advertise the LAN interfaces as well as advertise your WAN interfaces. So my WAN interfaces are 11 dot network and 10 dot network, right? So I'm also using 10 and 11 as per my topology. So likewise, I need to go to router three as well. On the router three also will Quickly configure, advertise your three dot network and advertise your WAN interface, the eleven dot network interface, which I'm using here. 
Okay, so this is the routing configuration and make sure that we do have communication between all the hosts. So verification wise, we can use show IP OSP of neighbor, you know, the OSP verifications also will verify from the host. I'll go to one of the PC here and we'll try to communicate, uh, verify the communication with other network host that is from 1.1. I'm trying to send a packet from 1.1 to 2.1. A ping reply is coming. Similar way, I'll try to ping to 192.168.3.1. One. I should be able to communicate. So this is like a prerequisite we'll be doing. So make sure that we configure our topology and this topology is pre-configured with all the IP configurations and make sure that all the interfaces are up and up and also the routing configurations which allows all the three subnets or the three LANs should be able to communicate with each other. So next thing we'll move on with our rules.